Welcome to my video. In this video, I am going to solve some of the most important MCQ, which is based on the topic of Right to Education Act (RTE Act 2009). So here, here are some of the most important points based on this RTE Act, that is Right to Education Act. So remember, as per this Act, they will provide free and compulsory education. To the normal children from 6 to 14 years of age but for the person with disability they'll provide free education from 6 to 18 years so this is our main difference for disabilities for person with disabilities 6 to 18 years but for normal children 6 to 14 years so this RTE Act it was enacted in 2009 and it was it came under the article of 21a of the Indian Constitution so these are some of the most important points. Now let's go to the MCQ, okay, directly. Question number one. Under which constitution amendment the RTE Act was implemented? It was implemented under the amendment, H6 amendment of the Indian constitution. So option two is correct. The right of children to free and compulsory education act 2009 stipulates that learning should be through activities in a child-friendly manner. Option 3 is correct. Next question. A school dropout from class 2 age 13 years will have to be admitted to which class as per the RTE Act 2009? As per the Act, so a children which is of the age 13 years and then he drop out from class 2 he will have to be admitted to class 7 as per this RTE Act so option 4 is correct next question according to the right to education 2009 how many minimum working days are required in a year for first to fifth grade 200 this option one is correct next question which of the following constructs does the right to education act 2009 advocate mainstreaming option three is correct mainstreaming next question the right of children to free and compulsory education act 2009 ensures the rights of children with disability to free education from 6 to 18 years option 4 is correct for normal children 6 to 14 years next question according to rte act 2009 working hours per week for the teachers are 45 hours option Option 3 is correct. 45 hours. Next question. According to the Right to Education Act 2009, children with special needs should study in inclusive education set up with provisions to gather to their individual needs. Option 4 is correct. Next question. The right to free and compulsory education for children between the age group of 6 to 14 has been included in the Indian Constitution as Article 21A. Option 4 is correct. Next question. The concept of inclusive education as advocated in the Right to Education Act 2009 is based on it based on a right-based humanistic perspective. Option 3 is correct. Next question. For classes first to fifth, if there are between 61 to 90 students admitted in a class, then how many teachers are required according to the Right to Education Act 2009? Three teachers are required if there are 61 to 90 students in a class. And if there are 91 to 120 students are there in a class then four teacher required 
three teacher will be only for 61, 61 to 90 students and 91 to 120 will be four teacher and then 121 to 200 students will be five teacher required so next question classroom after implementation of rtex 2009 are h-wise and more homogeneous option three is correct next question for which age group of children right to education act is a fundamental right for 6 to 14 years of children option 3 is correct next question right to education act 2009 states that a teacher shall perform which of the following duties a teacher shall perform all the duties okay maintaining regular duty and punctuality in attending school conduct and complete the curriculum complete entire curriculum and specific time so option four is correct all of the above all of this option four is correct